Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. I don't trust people who live on the surface of things, who instead of really laughing with you, they just give you a yellow smile, you know. I don't trust these people. I don't trust people who when they're supposed to listen to you, they take cues of what you're telling them to interrupt you and move the conversation to talking about themselves. I don't trust people who have no compassion. I don't trust people who can't leave themselves even for brief moments and actually sincerely try to even from a distance or as much as possible experience what others are experiencing. I don't trust people who can't love. Now, if you ask me who do I trust, I say put a mirror that is opposite to what I've just said, and those are the people whom I trust. People who cry with you, not pretend, really cry with you. People who laugh with you, not pretend. In fact, they don't just laugh with you. When you're laughing, they laugh with you and they start dancing. And they pull you into the dance and they make you dance. They take your laughter and happiness to a higher level. Those people I trust. I trust people who sacrifice. I trust people who you ask them about themselves they tell you forget about me now just tell me about you let's stay with you I trust genuine people sincere people deep people I trust people who understand and live by the concept that love is primarily about sacrifice and often sacrificing part of yourself, your time, your attention, your money, your resources, your emotion, but mainly your time and attention and your heart give you part of your heart I trust people who when they're with you they're really with you I trust people who worry about others who celebrate your success Who are with you in the good times and the bad times, really with you.
genuinely with you. Now, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that everyone can do what I've just said. Both sides. Everyone can do that. Everyone can play either role. We can. Can be superficial and fake and pretend. And the same person can be deep, genuine, honest, authentic. Everyone can do that. If they choose to do that. That's why I have hope. But unfortunately, not everyone is choosing to do that. That's why they say real friends are only few. That's why they say genuine love, real, real, real love is rare. It's not, it's not that it doesn't exist, but it's rare. But it, because it takes special people to love. It takes so much strength to get out of yourself and commit and devote yourself to the other. What's leadership and what's self-leadership? Self-leadership is when you choose to be the deep, authentic, caring, genuine person. And when you exercise and live that choice. And my God, you will make a difference. You will make a difference in people's lives. And you will make a difference in your life because you will experience life at a completely new level. Completely new level. I'll give you a silly example. Compare coffee that's very light, super light coffee. I mean, more than usual light. Almost brown. How does it taste? A mug that has little coffee, but lots of water. How does it taste? Barely tastes like coffee. Now compare, compare that with an espresso. All the richness of the coffee is there. If you don't like coffee, use another drink. But you get the point. So that's what self-leadership does is you take that choice about the way you want to experience life and you take it to the deepest level and you become that person that I talked about the person who could be trusted and that's what leadership is about Because when you do that, when you become that person, and when you care about others so much, really care, care that involves sacrifice, commitment, dedication, feeling responsible, a self-imposed feeling of duty towards others, whether they are in your family, whether they are neighbors, neighborhood, team, department, organization, country, humanity, the world. That's leadership. When you live and exercise your life at that level of care and attention and sacrifice and active love that's translated into help, that's translated into connection, that's translated into making the best positive and beautiful impact that you can make in the life of others so that their life becomes better even if it was at your expense now that's even a more rare 
form of leadership that that's the only hope you have imagine a family without that feeling at least in some of them it will break imagine an organization where you don't have enough people who really care it will break disintegrate imagine a country without those kind of people it would collapse imagine the world this way that's why every single day I believe more in leadership I genuinely every single day my belief in the importance of leadership multiplies because imagine the state of the world without the people who care without the people who love in an active way who are ready to sacrifice who for others who make the best possible conditions for others their priority and that's what gives me hope thank you for listening to the Michael Cooley podcast please visit cooleyinstitute.com and send us an email we would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode and remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media